This is Jeopardy. Here are today's contestants. From Houston, Texas, Elijah Willis. A former Hello. bingo hall runner from Stockford, Ontario, Canada, Andrew Hawking. And our returning champion from Phoenix, Arizona, Jack Oswald, whose one day cash winnings total $1,800. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Dante Pittman. Oh, yes. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to another round of Jeopardy. Thank you. Now, as, we, as you saw uh, last time, saw last time, Tur has decided to vacate the title. And so and that means that Jack is our brand new champion with $1,800. Well, it'll be, but now it'll be Elijah and Andrew's turn. And it's been a while since we have Andrew on Jeopardy. So, without further ado, good luck, good luck to you three. Let's get started with the Jeopardy round that has the one daily double. Okay, and here are your six categories. Poet, objects, roped in, movie refreshments, Oprah Puri. The right, the White House, and finally, take to task. Each correct response will be found between those two words in the dictionary. All right, Jack, where do we begin? Um, let's start with movies. What's your hundred? All right, answer. Tampopo, about a woman's adventure in her noodle shop in, the, in this country, has been called a woman western. That's Andrew. What is uh? What is China? No, I'm sorry. Elijah. What is Japan? Japan, yes. Oh, movie refreshments four hundred. Eva Lagolia directed 2023's Flame and Hot about Richard Montañez, who claims to have invented these flame and hot snacks. Elijah got the first. What are Cheetos? I'll give it to him. Flame and hot Cheetos. Yep. 600 oh. movie refreshments. Alright. Dishes made by Remy, an animated gourmet of the garbage, included, included an, uh, include an omelette, a roasted mushroom, and this title dish. Based off the movie, what was Ratatouille? Oh, Ratatouille. Oh. Oh. Alright. Movie refreshments, 800. All right. As Harold and Kumar in the 2004 film can attest, this fast food chain hits different after riding a cheetah and hang gliding. That's Andrew, got it first. Dang it. What is, what is White Castle? Got it, and you're out of the hole. Uh, Let's finish it off for 1,000. Just, just enough to get that. At the start of this 1973 sci-fi film, Edward G. Robinson wants more of the title food. By the end, he becomes the title food. Hmm. What is Solent Green? Oh. Go ahead, Elijah. I'm not Elijah. Andrew, sorry. Oh, Andrew. Uh, let's, let's go to the White House for 200. All right, answer. The White House is sometimes referred to simply by this address. And Andrew. It's the 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Correct. White House 400. All right, picture crew, take a look. In its history, this room has been used as a private study as well as where, where historic agreements have been signed. What is the treaty room? Uh, treaty, like a peace treaty. Okay. All right, let's, uh, the White House 600. All right. Fittingly, an original copy of the Gettysburg Address is on display in this upstairs guest room. Uh, 
<laughs> what is the Lincoln Bent Room? Oh. Uh, I got to the White House, eh, huh? In 1981, Nancy Reagan took some flack for purchasing a 4,732-piece, $210,000 set of this for the White House. That is Andrew. What is China? Got it. Now it's the answer. Oh, me. Okay. I'll finish off 4,000. All right, here we go. The tradition of having a decorated Christmas tree in the White House began with this president and grandson of another in 1889. Who was Benjamin Harrison? Uh, okay, let's go to Roped In for 200. It's the national name for the kids game with two jump ropes turning in opposite directions. That's Andrew. What is jump rope? No, I'm sorry, I can't say that. Jack. What? It's a double dutch. Got it. He's right. Oh, double dutch. Whoop. I knew it. Go ahead, Jack. Whoops in for 400. This synonym for lasso comes from the Spanish rieta, meaning rope. What is lariat? Oh. Task for 200. Task for two, all right. It's a fine grain mineral, excuse me, it's a fine grain mineral used in face powder. What is talk? T A L C. Oh. All right, let me count real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Go ahead. Continue with the same count, dog, 400, fast. All right. It's the adjective for a bicycle built for two. That's Elijah. What is tandem? Correct. All right, uh, roped in for 600. Boxing legend Archie Moore called the defense the turtle shell. Muhammad oh. Ali adapted to what he called this. That's Andrew. What is a rope of dope? Yep, the rope of dope. And ladies and gentlemen, that is 15. And we'll be right back with more Jeopardy after this. Welcome back to Jeopardy, everybody. The scores are Jack in third place with 200. Andrew's in, se Andrew's in first place with 2,000. Elijah's in second with 1,000. All right, Andrew gave me the last correct answer, so he has the next selection. Okay, all right, Dante, let's go to rope in for 800. All right, answer. Clove and half are two of these knots to use to tie a rope to a post or other support. What is a hitch? H-I-T-C-H. -H. Mm. Oh, okay. Um, let's, let's finish it off the category for a thousand. Roped in. Tensions between rope makers and British soldiers helped lead, lead to, um, to, led to a March 1770 shooting of civilians in this city. What is Boston? Uh... All right, let's go to Paul Trick. Let's go to the object one for 200. All right. Oh, I Joyce Kilmore wrote, I think that I shall never see a poem as see a poem lovely as this. What is a tree? Oh. All right, object objects four. Gene Toomer wrote of the flower of this crop, bull weevils coming in the winter's cold. Not the crop. What is cotton? Oh. 
I'll go with, uh, same category six. The new Colossus mentions a mighty woman with one of these whose flame is the imprisoned lightning. What is a torch? Oh. I gotta go category eight. Alright, daily double. Oh. You got two thousand. You're up by a thousand. I'm gonna go two hundred. Two hundred. I'm gonna go two. Alright, here's the clue. The last stanza of John Keats's poem about this title object mentions its attic shape. Oh. No, I don't know. I pass. Okay. Good thing. All right. What is a Grecian urn? Oh, Grecian, Grecian urn. urn. Is it, all right. Did take the two order off of my score, Dante? Oh. Yeah, I didn't. All right. So that's 1800. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh. There we go. Got it. 1800. There you go. There we go. And I'll reset you. And there. you have to clear it. There we go. Finish it off 1000, please. Finish it off 1000. All right. Here we go. Oliver Wendell Holmes wrote of this. Her deck, once red with heroes' blood, where knelt the vanquished foe. Oh, come on. Thank you. But I hit it. But I hit it. Oh, I think I hit it. There you go. What is old iron sides? Oh. Let's go to Opal Pre for You're cutting out, I'm sorry. I said Oprah I said Oprah for two. Okay. In twenty twenty one, tens of millions watch Oprah interview these two people about their struggle to preserve their mental health. That's Elijah. Who are Meghan Markle and Prince Harry? I'll give it to him, yep. Alright, Oprah oh. Pori for four. Oprah Pori for four, alright. Oprah's own network has featured stories of black families like the kings of this California winemaking mecca. That's Elijah again. Um. What Time. is Martha Ingrid? Oh, Time. dang it. Oh, Andrew. What is that, Napa Valley? I'll give it to him, Napa. Yep. Oh, I said Martha's Vineyard, so. Uh, let's go Oprah 6, please. All right. In 2021, Oprah used the launch day of Oprah Daily, an online community, to announce how she gotten this and how relieved she felt. That's Elijah. What is uh, weight loss? No. Or, oh, what? Oh, come on. Not weight loss, I'm sorry. Mm, dang. All right, Jeffrey. No. Okay. Now I'm starting to slip. What is the COVID vaccine? Oh. Okay. Okay, let's go to Oprah for eight. Oprah for eight. All right. Oprah's friend for nearly 50 years. She's the co-host of CBS Mornings and entered the Ozone when both worked at WJC Baltimore. That's Andrew. Who is that? Gail King. That's the person. Finish it off 1,000. Oprah says of her book club picks, there is none more essential than this Isabel Wickerson's, Wickerson book that puts race in its class context. Hmm. What is cast? The cast system. Oh, okay. Um, I'm to task for 600. All right. This festive headgear gets his name from a Robin Burns character. That's Elijah. What is a beret? Or... No, I'm sorry. I can't say that. Dang. No. Mm, no guess. What is a Tamil shunter? Oh. Same category, eight. All right. Hysteria related to a certain spider's fight is somehow related to the origin of this lively dance. Andrew. What is a tango? 
Yo, not Tango. Ah, Jack, all the way, just... Jack! I'm going to get that back this. What is the salsa? No, no. not the salsa. Oh. I got nothing. Where's a Tarantara? Tell a Tella. Tarantara. Alright. Oh, here's the last clue. I'm no. oh, sorry, I meant to click the last one. Alright. This type of charm is said to ward off evil or bring good luck. What is a talisman? Oh, talisman. Ooh, I'm just being like, I'm still. Okay. Alright, so at the end of Jeopardy round, Andrew's in first place with 2200. Elijah's in second with negative 400. Jack's in third with negative 600. Alright, and Jack starts double Jeopardy with these six categories Historic ships. TV tidbits. It was once the capital, you give us the country. Next, we have G men, G in quotation marks. Then we have general science, and finally, Russian lingo. All right, Jack, where do we begin? I can't hear you. G man for four. G man four, okay. In 2016, this current attorney general was nominated to the Supreme Court by Barack Obama. Man, Who was Merrick Garland? Oh. Let's Go ahead, take Jack. care of the. Let's take care of lingo for 400. All right. A kopeck is one of these that many Russians may have in their pockets. Elijah. What is a watch? No, not a watch. Okay, watch. <clears throat> Jack or Andrew? Mm -hmm. No. Um, what is a coin? What is a coin? Continue oh, okay. lingo for eight hundred. Sorry? Lingo eight hundred. Okay. This bald word is comfortable coming before either sturgeon or whale. What is beluga? Oh, okay. that's enough of that. Let's go to ships for hundred. Ships for four hundred. Yes, ships okay. for four hundred. Make sure I hear that right. All right, the forty-eight gun galleon San Martin was the flagship of the Duke of Medina Sidonia, who led this group against England in fifteen eighty-eight. What is the Spanish Hermada? Hermada. Oh. Once the capital for 800. For 800? Yeah, once for uh, once the capital. Okay. Yagon, sometimes called Lagoon, 1948 to 2005. That means for me, I got nothing. What is Myanmar? Oh, all right. TV four hundred, please. TV four, he says. War, uh, Will Arnett watches magic being made with tiny plastic bricks on the Fox show called This Masters. Andrew, what is the Lego Masters? Got it. I'll take it. Yeah. Uh, let's. Let's go to TV for 2000, please. Ooh. This veteran actor has been seen on Netflix in Free Body Problem in the final two seasons of The Crown. Oh. Who was Jonathan Price? Oh, that name is stuck in my head already. Uh, anyways, uh, let's go to TV for 12. All right. James and Patrick Qualley's deaths on the Titanic set up an inherent problem early on in this British drama. 
That's Andrew. What is that? Dalton Alby. I'll give it to him. Yeah, he got it. I'll give it to him. A TV for 800. In 2022, he logged his 15th, 15th hundred sketch with Saturday Night Live. And that's what's up with that. Who was Kenneth Thompson? Kenan Thompson. Uh, uh, let's finish. Let's finish that category off for sixteen. This actor, who played the very madman in season five for Fargo, had a dedicated nippleologist for his faults, fault piercings. <laughs> that was a mouthful. That is. That is. <laughs> who was John Hamm? Who was John Hamm? John Hamm. Okay. Uh, let's go to. Uh, general science for 400. All right. Types of these la waves, including love, primary, secondary, and the did you feel that kind? Uh -huh. What are seismic waves? Uh -huh. Uh, let's go to ships for 800. This ironclad built by John Erickson for the U.S. Navy was never truly seaworthy and sank in, in December 1862 off of Cape Hatteras. Ooh, ouch. What is the monitor? Uh, uh, chips 12, please. Daily double. Oh, boy! Yeah. All right, barely 800. You're up by 4,400. We'll go with my usual 200. All right, 200. Here's the clue. The world's largest aircraft carrier for 10 years. It was built starting in October 1943 and named for a battle 16 months before. Hmm. What is the USS Eisenhower? No, I'm sorry. What was Midway? Midway. Oh, Midway. All right, uh, all right, let's go to uh, ships for 16. All right. In 1789, this ship's crew tried to sail on Dubai and the Austral Islands, but were rebuffed by the native, native inhabitants and returned to Tahiti. What is the bounty? Oh. Uh, uh, finish it up. 2000. This similar sounding sister ship of the Lusitania, named for a North American kingdom, served as a hospital ship in World War I. Oh. Oh. What is the Mauritania? Oh. Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> okay, let's go to um, it, it, the capital for 400. Kandahar, 1747 to 1773. What is Afghanistan? Uh, 1894 to 1962. Oh boy, oh boy, oh. Uh. What is Uganda? Uh, Uganda, of course. A capital, 16. Quezon City, 1948 to 1976. Uh -huh. Your brother, Angel's gonna kick y'all butts. What is the Philippines? Philippines. Yeah, you're the Filipino. No. Yeah, he's going to kick a butt. Yeah, not mine though. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's finish the category off for two. Turku, eighteen oh nine to eighteen twelve. It's too obvious. I'm not gonna try it. What is Finland? Never mind. Finland, of course. 
Let's go. Let's go to uh, uh, G Men for eight hundred. This real sports host also hosted to the Today Show for more than a decade. Andrew. I'll take a wild show. What is Brian? Who is Brian Goble? Got it. Oh, well, if I didn't get his last name right, I'll be, be so shocked if I didn't get it right. But I got G Men 12, please. All right. He was succeeded by Ben Bernanke as head of the Fed. Oh. Who was Alan Greenspan? Oh. Hey, Janet, let's go to G Men 1600. All right. In his 2008 book, Outliers, he wrote 10,000 hours is the magic number of greatness. Who was Gladwell? Who was Gladwell? Alright, um, let's finish it off 2000. Alright. The G Men, who were after this G Man, who was born in Chicago and nicknamed Sam the Cigar. Who was Sam Giacana? Giancana. Uh -huh. Alright, let's go to General Science for 800. Radar images taken by the New Glenlin spacecraft in the 1990s helped determine that this planet has around 85,000 volcanoes. Volcanoes. That's Elijah. What is Mars? No, not Mars. Damn. Andrew. Uh, I'm sorry, can you repeat that? What is Jupiter? No, sorry, not Jupiter. I don't have a true guess. What is Venus? Oh, I, I was the closest. I was the closest. All right, All right. Go uh, let's go. Let's go to general science for twelve hundred. In 1671, naturalist John Ray discovered this asset by collecting and distilling large numbers of dead ants. What is formic acid? Oh. Uh, I'll, I'll go with general science for 1600. In 1948, this vitamin C advocate that the polypeptide chain would coal into a structure he called the alpha helix. helix. Who was Linus Pauling? Oh. Uh, I gotta finish the category 2000. Alright. It's the five syllable word for a counterpart, such as the positron, to the negatively, negatively charged electron. What is the antiparticle? Oh. All right, uh, Russian lingo for 1,200. Russian for free get, gives us this word for a type of carriage or any trio of influential folks. Oh. What is a troika? A troika. Oh. Six, 1,600. All right. Meaning assembly, this type of council constitutes the lower house of the Russian parliament. What is the Duma? The Duma. Here's the last clue. Here's the Daily Double. It's all yours, Andrew. Boy. Well, this game's over for me. Uh, okay. Uh, wager... Let's go with 100 this time. 100, okay. Here's the clue. This 14-letter word now referring to elite artistic fingers had a more socialistic bent back in Russia. Oh. 
I haven't had a faintest idea on past. Okay, what is intelligentsia? Uh, I, I have no uh, guess on that, so... Well, I'm uh, I kept the seat long. Uh, and, Andrew's in the lead with $3,500 at the end of the double Jeopardy round. Elijah, Jack, with negative scores, you guys won't be progressing to final Jeopardy. Hey, it's so weird. I had a good time. Thank you for having me here. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good. That's good. Alrighty. Alrighty. Alright, Andrew, here is the final Jeopardy subject. Brands. Put in your wager. We will be back. Brands is the final Jeopardy subject, and here is the final Jeopardy clue. In 1978, a new cologne for men came out called this. What's being played in the company's iconic logo? 30 seconds. Good luck. Andrew, see what you put down. What is Old Spice? No, I'm afraid. I said cologne, and the correct, the correct response was, what is Polo? Polo. Polo. Polo, yep. So you raise your 2,500, so it does not matter. So it does not matter. With 1,000, you are the new Jeopardy champion. Congratulations. <laughs> Well done, well done. And Andrew, you will be coming back next time to defend your title. And ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for this round of Jeopardy. If you guys like to see more of this or see more of our other game show episodes, game shows we do, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the bell icon to get notified every time Dr. Pimmer's Game Show Lounge YouTube channel goes live or uploads a new video. Same thing for my main channel. Thank you, Jack Osweiler. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you, Elijah. And thank you all for watching. Until we see you all again next time, don't let your life be in jeopardy. See ya. Of course. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh, shit.